Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today's video is going to be a review of Rare Beauty's brand new tinted lip oils. I just want to start off by saying that I did not get any of these products in PR. I'm pretty sure I actually got taken off of Rare Beauty's PR list which is not a big deal, no tea, no shade. I know that they can only keep a certain amount of creators on that list, so not a big deal. I just say all that to let you guys know that I did not get the big fancy box that you guys have probably been seeing all over TikTok and Instagram, but I went ahead and stayed up until 2 a.m. to get on the Sephora app and make sure that I copped all eight shades before all the popular ones sold out, which I'm pretty sure there are a couple of shades that are already sold out just a few days after they came up on the Sephora app. So I'm committed. I'm glad that I dedicated to staying up because you guys know I do not stay up late. I'm like in my grandma era. I've been in my grandma era for a very long time, but yeah, I stayed up very late to get these babies. So let's do a little ASMR unboxing. Love it already. I haven't even tried any of these on and I'm already obsessed. These are all eight shades of Rare Beauty's brand new soft pinch tinted lip oils. And I actually heard Selena say herself that these products were inspired by the soft pinch liquid blushes, which I think is super cute. I love the packaging on these products. Honestly, out of all of the other products from Rare, I like these the most. So each tinted lip oil retails for 20 US dollars, which I personally don't think is too bad. We all know that Rare Beauty is known for being a pretty affordable beauty brand. So I think $20 for one of these tinted lip oils is pretty good. On the Sephora app, it says that this product is an innovative gel to oil lip tint that hydrates and nourishes with a soft pinch of dewy color that stays comfortable, never sticky all day. And I find that the gel to oil consistency is very interesting because I've actually never used a lip oil that started off as a gel and then turned into an oil. And while we're on the topic of lip oils that I have used in the past, I want to go over the lip oils that I use on a day-to-day -day basis whenever I'm doing my makeup or even when I'm not really doing any makeup and I'm just kind of letting my skin breathe. So the first lip oil that I normally will use whether I'm wearing makeup or not is this lip oil from I'm not going to try to pronounce the name of the brand. I remember I, I remembered at some point how to pronounce the name of this brand and then I of course forgot and I'm not going to attempt it but you guys already know what this brand is. It's like the honey infused lip oil and I actually use this on a day to day basis even if I'm not wearing makeup but whenever I am wearing makeup I like to use this during my skin prep kind of step before I start applying makeup products. And then the other lip oil that I use is from Kosas. This is the wet lip oil and I use this in the shade Unbuttoned. This is kind of my go-to kind of lip topper that I use after my lip liner, lipstick, and then I use this on the very top and I really, really like this lip oil. So we will see kind of how it compares to the Rare Beauty lip oils. Okay, let's get into finally applying the products. For each shade, I am going to swatch it on my hand first and then apply to my lips. So let's get right into it. Also, let me just note that my lips look very dry. I kind of did that on purpose since it does say that it's hydrating and nourishing. I want to put that to the test. So we got these dry ass lips and they are wiped off. There's no product on there at all. So the first shade that I'm going in with is Hope. And this color is described on the Sephora app as a nude mauve color. Let's go right in. I'm super nervous. Wow, this is super weird. Okay, so I feel the gel. No stickiness at all. As you can see, 
no sticky, no like strings in between my lips. Also the taste, the, there's like a taste coming in. Is it like minty? I can't tell if I like it or not. It's kind of like a minty feel on my tongue. So interesting. Okay, so now I'm feeling, now that I've like rubbed my lips together, I'm starting to feel the oil. So I definitely felt the gel consistency and now, yeah, it's starting to feel like an oil. Wow, this is super hydrating too. Mmm. I'm still not sure about the taste, which personally, I like a little bit of taste in my lip products. Let me actually smell it. Doesn't seem to be a scent, which is super weird. Like it doesn't smell like anything, but I can taste almost like a um, mint or it's kind of like chemical-y too, which is a little concerning. I'm like trying not to like fully eat this product, but I'm so confused because you really can't smell anything. And then when you put it on, you can definitely taste something. Hmm. Okay. Well, as far as how it looks, I'm obsessed. I mean, come on. So as far as how it looks on me, this is again, the shade Hope. This kind of threw me off, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think that I would like this color and that's kind of why I did it first because it was like the pinkest shade and usually pink does not look really that good on my skin tone as far as lip products go. So this threw me off in a good way. I really like this. I think that this would look really pretty during the summer, which is coming right around the corner. By the way, I think that they launched these products right on time because all of these colors and just like the consistency and the formula is gonna be so great for summertime. Okay, so this is what the shade Hope looks like on my lips. We're gonna remove her and then move on to the next shade. By the way, I thought that I would remove this on camera because I have been seeing a few people talk about how, oh yeah, it stains the hell out of your lips. I have my Beauty Blender on standby in case I need to like use the leftover like foundation and concealer that's on my sponge to kind of go over it on my lips to make this review pretty fair. I don't really like the way that this stained my lips. This looks a little too like, too colorful and too bright. Also, as far as like my face makeup went, I tried to go for a look that like is just like an everyday look for me. I just did like brown in my crease and just like my normal everyday products. Nothing special as far as the rest of my makeup goes. So I don't really like the way that this stained my lips and just more keeps coming off. I don't know how to feel about the stain on this one. We're just gonna go over my lips with a beauty blender to kind of get it back to like a normal shade again. And then we're gonna move on to the next shade. The next shade that we have here is Joy and it is described to be a muted peach. Also, I forgot to mention this in the first um, try on, but I love the applicator. I don't know how to describe the shape of it, but I think that this goes really well on my lips. I feel like it's long enough this way and it's wide enough that way to cover my lips really well. And it's not like too wide and like fat, if that makes any sense. Guys, I just cannot get over the consistency. It's so interesting. I truly have never tried a product that was like this before. I feel like that's the best part of these lip oils is that it starts as a gel and it ends as an oil. I feel like I'm kind of doing this out of order. I was hoping to go lightest to darkest, but this kind of looks like it would kind of go towards the darker side of the shade range, but whatever, it's too late. We've already got it on. As far as how it looks, again, this is not a personal favorite on my skin tone. I think it's a weird red color. I'm not really sure. I don't know if it's like the color that I'm wearing because I'm wearing cream and I don't know if it's like 
my foundation looks a little too dark too i don't know as far as how this shade joy looks on me personally i'm not a big fan again i swear i have some shades that i think that i will really like and i already have some shades of mine that i don't think i'll like and the past two were just the two that i don't think i'll like all that much but I don't know, it's something about, I don't know if it's like the color that I'm wearing or what it is. Maybe if I was wearing like a brighter color on me and more of like a summery, like a spring summer color as far as like my top goes maybe i would like this lip a lot more it's not something that has me like oh my god please take this off of me i'm also curious as to what this will look like once i remove it and like what that stain will look like on my lips because i think that the stain will look a lot prettier than the lip oil itself also just so that you guys know for the rest of this video i'm only doing one layer of the lip oil on my lips so that you guys can see what it looks like just with one coat on rather than two. I just, I don't really know. And I think this one looks a little crazier than the last one, Hope. The stain is very, very bright. Not a big fan, I don't know. Let's just very quickly move on to the next one. The next shade is Happy, and this is described to be a cool pink. And I'm pretty sure Happy is the same shade that everyone loves in their liquid blushes. So I'm excited to test this one out. Let's try it on. Okay, so going in with one coat. Oh, wow. Mm. It's a no for me, dog. I think. Okay, okay, okay. Let's back it up a little bit. I don't know if I'm tripping out or what, but at first when I applied it, I was like, it's a no for me, dog. Like, absolutely not, because it was giving me Nicki Minaj pink lipstick vibes, which is just like, mm, 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 not my vibe. But call me crazy, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it changed colors on me after I let it, like, I guess like warm up on my lips or just like sit on my lips for a second because I swear when I first applied it it was super super bright pink like it almost looked like what hope looks like on the outside like I know this one's a little not as like bright pink am I am I crazy what is going on I'm pretty sure it just changed colors on me but whatever happened i have no idea i like the color that's on my lips right now a lot more than the color that was on my lips whenever i first applied it. i swear like the first second i was like mm -mm, no this is not for me like it was way too bright of a pink what is going on what kind of voodoo magic is this that is crazy but this is what happy looks like on me i'm very happy with it very fitting for the name so yeah i'm gonna remove this dab a little bit more foundation and concealer on my lips because i feel like this is gonna stain pretty crazy just like the last one and then we're gonna move on to the next shade yeah this one is staining pretty wild i don't know if i'm just like not a big fan of lip stains or what because last year i was using the benetint uh cheek and lip stain which i used to use in middle school but like that was before i was like really putting on a lot of makeup but last year i just like wasn't feeling that one either on my lips or my cheeks i don't know if i just like more of like a heavier look or what it is but i don't know i'm not really sold on any of these stains that they're leaving on my lips this next shade is called Wonder, and it is a rose mauve shade. I have a feeling I'm going to like this, but let's try it on anyway and see. It did it again, where it, when it first applied, it was like such a bright color. And then I swear, like the second I went like this, and like press my lips together it got darker 
I think the shade Wonder is such a beautiful color on me personally. I like it against my skin tone. I like it with the rest of this like regular makeup look that I normally do. I can really see myself wearing this on a day-to-day -day basis as a part of my everyday makeup look. I just can't get over the fact that when I first apply it, it's such a bright color and then the second I like do like this and press my lips together, the color changes and like it gets darker and just it becomes like its true color. I didn't see anyone like Selena or anyone a part of the Rare Beauty team mention this about this product so I don't know if that is happening on purpose or what. Honestly, I don't even know if that's like actually happening or if it's all in my head but I'm pretty sure the color is changing on me which is like kind of freaking me out but I'm into it, just like a little surprise. We love that. Yeah, I'll have to say that this shade Wonder has got to be like my number one so far, but we have four more shades to get through. So and since I love this shade so much, I feel confident that the tint that it's gonna leave or the stain that it's gonna leave is gonna be pretty as well. No. Well, I don't know. Also, it's hard to tell because I don't know if this stain that I'm seeing on my lips right now is a combination between all four of these shades that I've tried on so far, or if it's like the most recent one that I'm like mainly seeing. Not really sure what's going on, but I kind of like this little stain. Like if I wanted to go for this, I would probably just like reapply all four of these and then wipe it all off. Looks so pretty. It almost looks like I got like lip blushing done. I really like it. At first, whenever I did the first four shades, I was like, or the first three shades, I was like, oof, I don't know. Like no hate to Rare Beauty, but none of these shades are really working for my skin tone, but I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident and I'm ready to get into the second half because this is where I'm starting to feel like I'm gonna like these shades a lot more because it just, I feel like, will look better on my skin tone, in my opinion. Okay, this is called Serenity, and it is described to be a warm rose shade, and this is actually the only shade that is sold out on Sephora right now, so she's popular. Let's see if she's worth the hype. Oh, yes. Immediately, yes. Can I just, like, stop right here? Oh my gosh, no, this is it. This is the one. Eee! I love it already and I haven't even let it sit for a second. No, this one is good. I don't just like this one, I love this one. Serenity? She's that girl, okay? She is perfect. Like this, this is what I want. This is gonna be my everyday. I really thought that this shade Wonder was gonna be it, but Serenity came in right after and sweeped me off my feet. I mean, she's beautiful. I just love the shine that it leaves on my lips too. Also, I haven't really mentioned this, but like wiping this off and putting more on you would think that that would like dry my lips out, but it's like every single time I put another shade on, my lips just feel so hydrated and soft. They really, really did a good job at making sure that this is hydrating and nourishing just as it claims. I like don't wanna keep going. I wanna stop right here and just leave this on for the rest of the day. Wow, this is so pretty. I love it. Serenity is that girl. Based off of how I felt this entire video about the way that it stains my lips, I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this one. Nar. <laughs> Nar. It just looks weird to me. Also, because I've like, wait, also it just, it tastes so odd. Like, what is this like chemical? taste it's so weird because you literally can't smell anything whenever you open the bottle and you i can't smell anything like while it's on my lips either but i taste something so foul like i don't think i like it at first i was like oh it's like minty but like i'm like almost tasting the mint if that makes any sense so it's like concerning like should i be like swallowing this i don't know but yeah i'm not really loving the stain 
but that's just me personally maybe it's because i have like a full face of makeup on right now and that's why it like looks weird but i am not the biggest fan of the stain i'd rather just like wear the product as is instead of like putting it on and then wiping it off but i can also see like during the summer if I have like a super light makeup look on and I'm like by the pool or like at the beach or like doing like a summery activity and the lip oil kind of like comes off throughout the day as I'm like drinking water and eating and just like living life throughout the day, I can see how it would still look nice and it would be convenient for it to stain your lips after it comes off just so like you don't have to like keep reapplying and you really don't even have to like bring it with you to wherever you're going. If that makes any sense. I can see how some people would like the stain, but for me right now, not a big fan. I'd rather just wear the product as is and reapply whenever it starts to come off. Okay, this shade is called Honesty and it is described to be a nude brown. I think I'm gonna like this one as well, but let's try it on and see for ourselves. Guys, why do I like honesty a little bit more than serenity? Is that controversial? Like, uh-oh, the girls are fighting. I don't know. I can definitely see myself wearing this in the fall and the winter more than spring and summer. And also, I don't know if it's because I'm wearing like a knit sweater. If like that's why I could like see myself wearing it in this type of weather. I don't really know. Or like a rainy day. Like this is giving like comfy cozy cute i'm not trying too hard but also i look cute so i don't know i love this color so so much and again when i applied it it looked like very ashy and just like it didn't look right i let it sit for literally like a half of a second and it looks right like it this looks the way that it needs to look i can't get over that part you guys i know i keep mentioning it but it's like truly blowing my mind and i haven't really heard anyone else mention this before about how like the colors like low-key change whenever you put it on i don't know i'm just like blown away but i really like this color honesty this is going to be a favorite serenity for spring and summer honesty for fall and winter i don't know but we have two more shades so let's try them on I'm not even gonna get my thoughts anymore on the way that it stains because like you guys already know my answer I don't like it. I'm not into it. Okay, and also my lips are so stained like I don't think I can come back from this one So hopefully the last two shades are dark enough to where the way that my lips are stained right now Doesn't really affect the way that it looks on my lips whenever I put those two shades on. That is a concern just for the sake of this review video. I really wanted to like, I really wanna show you guys the way that it looks on my bare lips, but kind of impossible to do that. So I'm very sorry, but I'm trying my best by using my beauty blender and kind of just going over my lips to start a fresh base. This next shade is called Delight and it is a rose brown. Lots of rose colors in this little line, which I love because I feel like rose looks pretty good on my skin tone. So very happy about that. Let's try her on. Also, I'm gonna do like one single swipe so that I can like for sure see if it changes colors on me because I, I can't get over that. All right, so we've got the product here on the applicator. Let's put it on the lips one single swipe. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, you see how it looks kind of like ashy? And it just don't look right, especially compared to the colors that we're seeing on the applicator and the color that we see on the actual bottle itself. Like, this is pretty crazy, but let's keep going. And it's not a huge difference either from whenever you first apply it to whenever you kind of start to blend it out and rub your lips. So that's why I'm like 
Am I just like tripping out? Like, is this just like all in my head? I think the delight is yet another shade that I can see myself wearing in the fall and in the winter rather than spring and summer. I think it's so pretty. I definitely think that rose brown is the best way to describe this color because it's got like pink, it's got red, but then it mainly has like that brown color, which I love so much. Yeah, I really like her. This is another shade that's giving me comfy cozy don't want to try too hard but also i look hella cute so love this color this stain is about to look absolutely crazy because we're now seven shades in wow my lips look wild but again you would think that my lips would be really dry because i'm just using like a dry cloth to wipe this off but it's like every single time I reapply another lip oil, it just instantly like hydrates my lips. Like it, it's like a big gulp of water, it feels like. And last but not least, this shade is called Affection and it is a muted berry color. Very excited to try this because I never wear lip colors that are this dark and like purpley. So we shall see how this looks on me. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so this last shade, Affection, is the ultimate sweater weather shade, in my opinion. Like, you couldn't get any more festive than this. I can really see myself wearing this to like a Christmas party with like a gold outfit and like a gold eye. And then this being the star of the show on my lips, I think would be so beautiful. I can already see it with my gold hoops right here. Like, it just goes together so beautifully. So, I'm looking forward to wearing this whenever it gets colder outside. I can't see myself wearing this or pretty much the last three, four, three shades. I would say right now for spring and summer, it's just a little too dark and like cozy for my liking. All right, you guys. So that was what each shade of the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oils look like on me and my skin tone. Overall, I would say $20 is definitely worth the price for Serenity and Serenity only, and I stand by that. I die on that hill. That's my favorite shade. I will say all of these lighter shades were just, I wasn't feeling it. It's just a little too bright and like a little too Nicki Minaj-esque for me. And like, again, this is just what it looks like on my skin tone and like what I personally like. But these darker shades, I'm feeling them. Like, I think the darker shades are definitely worth the $20. That's just me though. For the shades that work for your skin tone, I think $20 for at least like one of the lip oils, one or two, is pretty worth it. I will say it definitely lived up to what they said as far as it hydrating and nourishing your lips. It feels so good on my lips. Also, I love that it kind of gives you a little bit of a surprise every time you apply. But yeah, anyways, you guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to let me know down in the comments which shade that you like the best on yourself and which shade that you have gotten if you've already purchased one of these lip oils already. I would love to know your thoughts. It better be Serenity though. Like, I I'm sorry. Like, I will not listen to any other opinion about what your favorite lip oil is if it's not serenity no i'm totally kidding but make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications i am now uploading twice a week every wednesday i'll be doing a vlog of anything i want to vlog about and then every saturday will be any content that is related to beauty so hair skin makeup review videos like this one right here and yeah, so I will be moving a lot faster over here on my YouTube channel. So if you are not subscribed and if you don't have your post notifications on, you better do so now because it's going to be a lot to keep up with. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.